In the quadratic equation above, a and b are positive constants, where a is more than b. If the graph of the equation in the xy plane is a parabola with vertex 6 and negative 18, what is the value of a? You don't have to draw this, I just want to explain this better, but here's a quick sketch of what's going on in this problem. We got a vertex at 6 and negative 18. Since this is in its factored form right here, it is telling us that a and b are my roots, where a is more than b. So those points are going to go somewhere over here a is more so that one's a b is somewhere on the left side and now we got our parabola the first thing we're gonna do is set up an equation where we can state that a plus b divided by 2 is going to equal 6 and that is because 6 which is an x value is gonna be in the middle of a and b so this is basically just the midpoint formula here's where I got lost a little bit go ahead and solve that equation for b by multiplying by 2 and subtracting an a on both sides so now I got b equals 12 minus a just trust me you're gonna need that information on the second part of the problem so our step one was just to solve for b now we're gonna use that information in step two where we're gonna substitute a bunch of stuff we're gonna replace every variable that we know right here and we are gonna use our vertex as our x and y value it's gonna look something like this y is gonna be negative 18 in the equation we got two x values which we're gonna use a six for we do not have an a value so we're gonna keep that as a minus a but that was the whole purpose of step one we do have a b value which we can substitute 12 minus a for it and this is gonna work because now we have an equation to solve for a which is our main goal this two right here we can get rid of it right away by dividing by two on both sides since this is all multiplication this right here is gonna turn into negative 6 plus a and this binomial you can factor out a negative 1 which is gonna turn Turn the inside into 6 minus a divide both sides by negative 1 so that's gonna get me 9 equals these cancel out 6 minus a times 6 minus a is the same as 6 minus a squared take the square root of both sides plus or minus 3 equals 6 minus a which is gonna split up into two scenarios 3 equals 6 minus a which gets you a equals 3 and the other scenario is gonna be negative 3 equals 6 minus a which gets me a equals 9 oh my goodness it is almost done hopefully you don't get this question on the test we got to substitute that back into step number one which gives us another two scenarios that gets me b equals equals 9 when a equals 3 and b equals 3 when a equals 9 but this question right here says that a has to be more than b meaning that this is my final answer a equals 9 what a painful problem hopefully you don't get that one and i hope this was a good review for you if it was don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode peace